this is where we're going. Right there's the number. Go in here and look around. There's a pretty nice, that would say wide mouth telephone jar. These are pretty nice jars. I remember that lunchbox. I was just kind of showing you the stuff in these cases. See, there's some military. Right there's some marbles. Vitro agates. You know, look at this. Here's a Greensboro Eagle Croc. You know, it's got some damage. I don't, maybe a crack here. This one's worth, you know, it's twelve fifty. Um, it's a ten gallon one. I'd have this fixed. That is just a scorcher. That's hard to beat. Look at it. Greensboro. Man. You know, perfect. That's legitimately $10,000. Flawless, real nice condition. I, I think even like this. See, it's as is 900 Now it must be. I should buy this. That's 20 bucks. These things had batteries in them and they went through. I had the same toy when I was a kid. It looks all there too. That has to be worth more than 20 bucks with the original box. There's some cute. All right, check out all these really cool tins. Here's, that's a cane to Christie, dry gas. Adds mileage to gasoline. That's old. Franklin glue. And Hubbard shoe grease. That's very cool. Happy Days Bank. That's cool. Pressing oil, that's cool. Edgeworth Extra High Ready Rub, that's a cool looking tin there too. I like tins if you can tell. Alright, um, I will get back to you later. Alright, here's Atwood Jaundice Bitters, formerly made by Moses Atwood, Georgetown, Massachusetts. Seven fifty. See they got tons of stuff here. Look at this. Man, that's nice. I might have shaved some of these. No, I don't think I've shaved this one. They got some new ones. This says Wilder Dairy Farm. Wilder Brothers. He's Dale, Rhode Island. Very nice. Here is a really cool Seneca Syracuse. They got some, that's 15 bucks and that's got an Indian head on it. That little water steaming, but that is nice. If you want to call in on any of this stuff, I will show the the cards. These are all nice. That's twelve dollars for that. That's a great price. It's embossed up here. This Seneca one's awesome. If you collect bottles and airheads, that's the one for you for sure. There's some really nice ones. Look at that one here. Very cool stuff. Very cool. Some of these little cars are cool there. And look at them bottles back here. Look at this. That's pretty nice. Bowery Van Horbeke or something. 17 bucks. That's a beautiful color. There's another like one like it. There's some kind of amber coop bottle. They have some weird stuff here. Weird looking bottles and some nice bottles. 
Look at this, 10 bucks, it's a cast iron skull. That's very cool, I've never seen that one. I like skull stuff, and look at this ice pick. Outboard motor oil cans are nice. Man, that one's nice right there. It says that one with the outboard motor on it. I don't see that. Yeah, 60, I was gonna say. If them are 10 bucks or something, I'm buying them. 55, them are, these are nice. These are very good ones. All right, leave it. A lot of you women ask about these briar horses. If I see them, yeah, I see them a lot. These are all. 49 bucks that one's cool they have lots of them see they have lots of weird toys i don't know if it, i thought that was a ventriloquist doll for a while i don't know what that is it's a bomb pageable hobo 47 dollars nice there's one that one's 85 remember the one in wheeling on the base that was 50 that's why I said it was a good deal. That's totally worth that. That's an awesome one. It probably has the key to put marbles in that. Imagine that was filled with marbles. You know, heck, I'm tempted to buy that at that price. That's still a good price for 85. I think how good the one was for 50. I should have bought that one too. It probably didn't have the key though. That one probably got it. It was a good thing. Yeah, see. I found a piece that was similar color to this that was in the dump that was broke. It was like a candy dish in one of my digging videos just here this week. And see, it is Fenton. That's an oil bottle. That's 48 bucks. That's pretty. That's pro that owl's probably Fenton too. See, they just have just cabinets everywhere. This is just one little section. I could look here, look, a room here, different deal, or all of this stuff down through here. And the, you know, it's different themes. See, all through here. These, I found one of these on my channel hole with a lid, but I just found one of these blue ones in the dump, just a section out of it the other day. I would've liked to have it. That's a nice looking piece. Look at that. I like that stuff. Way to I'll just give over stuff like this in the store a while and you know I'll talk about some of it. This is cool. Looks like stuff I could find in the dump. A whole bunch of old, you know, that's Chrysler Sebring. That's newer. A lot of these are newer. Someone's taking them out of a junkyard or something. are cool. You know, this is something I have not seen. And I've sold a lot of vintage radiators on eBay. Motorola. It's like a clock radio. It's a good price too. 40 bucks. Probably works. Huh. Alright, I wanted to show you that. This is a very unique thing here. It's ceramic. It says 1950s and that sounds about right. But it's got a native on it. With like metal. That's a Native Pixie, $25 planner. That's a unique item. Later. There's an old mic. But look at these people here. These are pretty old pictures. I'm just kind of eyeballing some stuff. Yeah, I've never seen this either. Avon pheasant. It's Avon bottle. Still got the stuff in it, whatever that is. It looks 70s, maybe 80s, but these are cool. Huh. They don't where I showed these blue G-Bay marbles in my last video. I should have bought some. I just was trying to 
you know, I thought, oh, I'll get some on the way back and let people have them. There ain't no more Jabos. <laughs> They're all gone. I should have got them. These are good marbles. They ain't making them anymore, and these were beauties. I hope some of you got them that watched this, but you saw how many were here. They're gone. That is it. Yeah, look at that. That's a aluminum silver worth set. Look at that little thing. What the heck? This dealer always has good stuff. Look at that. China head replicated arms, $55. That's cool. There's another doll right here. Here, 12 inch doll. That's actually nice. Look at that. I'm sure somebody here might be interested in that. If you are, just call them. They do that one. With. I'm not. I hate to touch stuff like that if I'm not going to buy it. There's a horse ashtray. But see. You can't get the marbles now. See, there's a Listerine like I've been finding. Three bucks. It's a good price. Later. Some of this stuff, I know a lot of you ladies went to dolls. This guy just must have got in an enormous amount. There's all these big ones. Some of them are vintage. I'm no doll expert. But see, these aren't new dolls. That's a rubber face. That one there is not new. They all look, see, there's just boxes of them. If you want, if you're interested in any of this stuff, just call the, the store and ask about, this is in the back. Um, boxes of dolls on the floor. People know, see there's vintage Halloween right there. See it, 32 bucks. It's some kind of little pumpkin with a witch on it. Check out that right there. Man, that is awesome. That's gotta be at least 50 and I bet it's more than that. Oh dude, that's 47.50. I was right, with the box. That is, oh look, it's faded from setting. It's been setting in a window or something in sunlight, see it? And that side's good, it faded it. That's very nice though. Wow, wow. All right. Well, that's nice right here. In that wood box, $28. You could authenticate airheads with that microscope right there that's all you need for 28 bucks if you want one you can that'll work yeah you guys that collect motor oil cans and stuff this is a good one rocket motor oil it's got some wear you can see right here the company it's pretty nice it's 125 and it's 10 percent off and I'd say the person is firm on that because when are you, you want that one for your garage, that's an awesome piece. It's awesome. If I had a, a business where I was working on cars, I'd pay $100 for that and just put it in the lobby on a shelf later. See, this quart of marbles here, paint of marbles, $20. There's some newer vit vitro agate made marbles, I don't know, up to the 90s. But it doesn't mean, when I say these are newer marbles, there's some caged cat eyes in here. This, you know, if you're putting together frames of marbles, there's some decent ones in there. Some of the caged cat eyes are cool. You know, just because marbles aren't old, Vetre stopped making marbles and I think you can look it up, 94 or something. You know, they're not making them no more, so they're all collectible. Even, I like the more vintage ones myself, but there's people that probably any collect these kind. It just depends. <coughs> I'm in one of these. It looks like beast number G20. You can see all this stuff, but look at this little, little Tom beverages. It's 12 bucks. It's a Cleveland, Ohio, little Tom. I've never seen, I've seen little Tom stuff. But not for a long time, but I've never seen one that exact size. Huh. Well, big color. These are kind of cool. Alright, later.
That's Lee Middleton, Reva something doll. And look, there's Squirrel Man. This is Dealer 43. See, they just have lots of dealers. And here's Fenton. BG7 or something, I'm not sure. You buy all the, if you collect Fenton, you can buy all of it here you want. That sand is nice. You can see that one. See, you look at the Fenton, look at the, the, with the black light behind it. Check that out. If you got money and you collect glassware, that's for you because that's expensive. Same with that, and same with that. I know, I have a general knowledge about a lot of stuff, and I know by just looking at that, that's thousand dollar glassware, pretty much, you know. Here's one G13, there's some stuff here. Yeah, look at that. That's probably Japan, it's within 1250 for that Bulldog family. That's a good price. And look at this little, like, Scotty dog. On this little man, that's nice. Scuddy Dog Nest 2650. Look at that, that's really cool. And look at these Scuddy Dog bookends. Looks like $13. This would be G8. This, and that's even cool. Look at that rear race bike, spike doorknob. All right, I was, I stopped filming. I left off with this stuff and then I come up here and man this is a good idea. It's a rear aid spike door knocker. That's awesome. That is a really good idea. You know just kind of looking look at this. Whammy sportsman. Hmm. There's some cool stuff here. That's for sure. That's very cool. And I really like them dogs for 1250 man. Back here catches my eye. And there's something back here to catch anybody's eye. It just depends on your taste, I guess. Like these are cool. I found this one. This in the dump pieces on. But I turned it on for this. Look at this old iron. That's a nice looking one. And it's got the base. I haven't flipped the price tag over. I bet it's at least $25. $30. That was pretty close. And here's some more over here. Here's one of the ones. Let's see, it's probably $20. $15. And there's an odd one. And there's another one. That red one's cool. $15. That's a primitive one. But look at this red one. That's a nice tits. And look at the base on that. Pottstown, PA. You know, if you're watching this, you can call the store. This could be shipped, and all of these could be shipped in a flat rate box. That's awesome, right there. 30 bucks. And it's on sale. Look at that. If you have hardwood floors in your house, look at that as a doorstop. That's a great one. This one's nice, too. These ones say, say, this one isn't bad. But if you collect them, they're good ones. All right. Later. Well, look at that ceramic doll there. It's a doll head. It's 20 bucks, but that's like a, a flapper style woman from like the 20s with the headband. See it there? Thought some of you ladies might like to see that. That's a vintage piece. See, they got little things everywhere. Just lots of different stuff. There's some old stuff down in here. Dean Martin puppet. Just see. There's some back in this section now. I'm just gonna get me and my mom over here and probably do some police else. I'm with my mom today. It says Royal Copley head wall pocket. Look at that, it's a pirate. That's very cool. I love stuff like that. The pirate themed stuff is is great. Later. Look at these tiny little irons there. That one says, it's like an advertising something that says something on the side. And then look at this little one. Small wood handle. 
iron 45 bucks. I've never seen either one of these. These are nice. All right. Um, this is for the winner of the giveaway at Doug's store for the pewter figure collection. There's 219 comments. We'll come over here and hit it. Um, you're going to get the pewter figures, and then you'll get stuff that I've dug, bottles and stuff. You'll get a whole medium flat rate box full of stuff. If it's small giveaway items, you're still going to get, like, some real nice, perfect Sistersville Coke bottles and the stuff I dig on my channel. I take it and clean some of it up, and you'll get some of it free. Um, so get a good package and here we'll do the winner and then I'll tell you more James William hi rocks loves your video so many different things going on I like more like a six or seven faceted piece of hematite well buddy thanks I, I really appreciate your long comment here and I'm I'm glad you won and you'll get a whole box full of stuff and I'll send you some faceted hematite man Plus the stuff you want here. The pewter figures are very cool. I like them all. That's why I got them. Um, the, I have so many antique store clips videos right now. I had I did this one and it was like uh, 40 minutes long. So I cut it. There'll be a giveaway again with another winner. I have another active giveaway um, from another antique store. We'll pick winners for it. And there'll be a giveaway for a really awesome item. Maybe a really awesome item I dug. It all come up with something. I bought some stuff to give away. Maybe a combination of both. We'll see. But the next video, there'll be a giveaway. All you have to do is comment on it to um, enter just like this. And I'll pick a winner like in a couple weeks. You know, within 30 days. Congratulations, James. I'll get a hold of you. And I'll get your address. You can email me. And I'll ship this stuff right out. Yeah.